In every kitchen of every good commercial food service operation, a lot of washing and cleaning goes on. A lot of rules and regulations are enforced, and a lot of demands are made about how food should be handled. It all comes under the heading of sanitation, they tell you. But maybe you've wondered about it. Maybe now and then you've asked yourself, why all the fuss? Why all the fuss about sanitation? The main reason is public health, your health and mine. In plain English, because it's a matter of life and death. And this is what the fuss is all about. These are highly magnified germs, or if you want to get fancy about it, bacteria. Most illnesses and deaths that result from food are caused by them. They reproduce by a very simple system. They simply divide and form two germs. Under the right conditions, one germ can, in 24 hours, grow into a family numbering over 200 trillion, equal to a lineup of 10 billion inches, which is more than six times around the world. Now that's a lot of germs. Fortunately for human beings, the growth of bacteria can be controlled if we just get a little fussy about a few simple rules. It is important to remember how germs get from place to place. The fact is, they are hitchhikers. They are carried by people, the number one source of germs in food. They also ride with flies, rats, and roaches. They can also hitch rides on tools and equipment, or on utensils or towels, or soiled clothing. Since people are the main carriers of germs, food handlers must be conscious of the need for cleanliness at all times. This begins with frequent bathing and clean uniforms always. Proper headgear is also a must. Careful cleaning of the hands is especially important for all food service personnel. The rules of washing after using toilet facilities are not just for good manners. The deadly hitchhikers can get on board in the restroom because they are always present wherever there are human wastes. Be sure you feel well when you come to work. The best rule to keep from contaminating food is never work when you are sick, even if it's just a cold. Step two in sanitation, keep the germs from growing in the food itself. Lowering the temperature doesn't kill them, but it does keep most kinds of bacteria from multiplying. A potentially hazardous food must not be held for long at room temperature. It must be served while it is still hot, or else it must be refrigerated immediately. Food that is to be held for later use must have its temperature lowered to a safe level. The food must quickly cool to a temperature of 45 degrees or below. This is not refrigerator temperature, but food temperature. Notice the shallowness of the storage pan. This is to allow the cooling to reach the very center of the food. Remember this, no matter how up to date your refrigerating equipment may be, it does no good at all if the food has been allowed to stay warm for a long period of time before refrigeration. This thermometer shows how various levels of heat affect bacteria. Notice the danger zone between 45 and 140 degrees. Between these moderate to warm temperatures, most disease-causing bacteria multiply very rapidly. However, above 165 degrees, bacteria are killed. Temperatures in the kitchen and other food preparation and service spaces are ideal for the rapid growth of bacteria. The more a food is handled, 
the more danger there is of contamination by germs on hands, clothing, or tools. Handle food with utensils whenever possible, but make sure they are clean. The longer a food stays warm, the more danger of bacteria multiplying. Eating food reduces the danger, but the heat must be sufficient to completely kill bacteria. An internal food temperature of 165 degrees Fahrenheit is generally considered a safe standard. However, heat alone cannot do the job of sanitizing food if it has been too deeply contaminated. This drawing shows why. Colonies of bacteria sometimes create poison in the foods they feed on. The dark area is the poisoned food. Notice that the temperature of 165 degrees kills the bacteria all right, but it does not destroy the poison. Some of these poisons are heat stable. They can even survive temperatures as high as 212 degrees. This is why prompt and adequate refrigeration is an absolute necessity. Once the bacteria have gotten in, have multiplied and created their poisons, it is too late. In storage, preparation, and service, get foods out of the danger zone as quickly as possible. Remember the deadly hitchhikers. They will help you to understand why there are rules about washing and cleaning up, rules that may sometimes seem fussy. Because germs do cause illness and sometimes death. Millions of people eat foods prepared in commercial kitchens every day. That's millions of the best reasons in the world for all of us who handle food to be just a little fussier than ever.